you think back to last video, we talked about neurons and nerves. We said nerve was just a bundle of neural fibers. That's what the definition of a nerve was, bundle of neur neuronal fibers, which more or less just means a bundle of neurons because neurons were the basic set unit or the basic cell basic cell of a nerve. So a nerve cell would be a neuron, but a nerve itself is made up of lots of these different neurons, right? So not just one neuron, but lots of neurons. And the reason why I think you might actually need to know a bit about the structure of nerves and neurons is because of this dot point, even though I haven't seen any graphing and labeling, sorry, even labeling um, HC questions, this dot point kind of says you might need to know a bit about structure. So if anyone has seen any HC questions, that have to with labeling, let me know, but I haven't found any. But um, this is, says you need to perform a first investigation using stained prepared slides and electron micrographs to gather information about structures of neurons and nerves. So you might have done this in class already. You might have made a um, analysis or a, a experiment wh where you looked at the nerves and neurons under the microscope and tried to figure out the structure of both neurons and nerves, right? So. In terms of the structure of nerves, remember they were a bundle of neurons, so you can obviously expect to find lots of neurons, and each of these here would be a neuron. This would be an electron microscope. You have each of these being a, actually this might be a light microscope. Um, so it might be a slide on a light microscope. So each of these would be a neuron. Then you have also, I mean, not, you don't have just have only neurons, there's a bit more to a nerve, because you also have connective tissue which would be just the thing that's around it, the actual layer that's around it. And some of the stuff that he keeps them in the middle as well. So this would be connective tissue. And remember connective tissue is just the idea to connect things, to keep things together. And that's important because otherwise all this would fall apart. So we've got the actual nerves are made up of neurons, which is the basic unit of a nerve, but also connective tissue, which is to make sure things are kept in place and also blood vessels as well. So there will be blood vessels which will try capillaries, which will try to reach every single neuron because neurons are a cell. Remember, cells also need actual um, ATP. So they need to make, they need to bring in oxygen and glucose and they need to remove carbon dioxide. So we've got a blood supply, right? Blood vessels are inside on our nerves. And we also have this connective tissue which also is important when it comes to nerves. Plus, obviously, the vast majority of is these neurons, which you can see, which you can quite clearly see are these um, things. And remember, neurons are, this is probably what we're seeing here, is probably the axon. So it's that long tail. This is obviously a cross-sectional, right? So it's cross-sectional, which means if we have a nerve, this were a nerve, we're cutting it here and then looking at it from, from there. So that's a cross-sectional. We're not, we're not doing this kind of cut, and this would be longitudinal, but this is a cross-sectional cut. So we're looking at it and we can see all these tails from different ax uh, from different neurons. Each, each of these would be a tail of a neuron. Right, so that's basically the structure of a nerve. I don't think you need to know more about the structures of nerves than that. Um, in terms of the structure of neurons, again, you, if you had an image, you could have found it maybe online or maybe you had it in a lab or in school. You would have looked at a neuron um, and you might have looked at an electron microscope or a, a, a light microscope picture of a neuron. So you'd have tried to figure out the structures you can see. This one would be pr pretty obvious. Remember we talked about the head of a neuron. This would be the head. This is where stuff like the nucleus, which is important for making proteins. Um, this is where we'd have the ribosomes, which actually make the proteins. So the nucleus have the instructions. The ribosomes are the way the proteins are made. It has the mitochondria which is there to make ATP. Right? So all that would be in the head of the actual uh, neuron. And it has these dendri dendrites as well, and these that come off. So dendrites come off the head, which would be these here. It could kind of look a bit like antennas or crazy hair, maybe curly hair. Um, these would be your dendrites. And dendrites, what they do is they connect one neuron to the next, one neuron to the next. So we've got head and dendrites, which we can quite clearly see in this picture. And we've got the axon as well. And remember the axon was just a long structure. I probably shouldn't be using green if the whole thing is in green. I'll be using a different color, maybe red. Yeah, that's pretty better. All right, so this would be the axon. And remember the axon was just a long fiber. 
and its function was to make sure that the nerve impulse doesn't leave. So the nerve impulse, which gets sent down, it's one, it's one sec go from the head towards the axon terminal, that it makes sure that it can't leave on the sides, right? It's like an insulation. It's just keeping the actual nerve impulse in its in its long tail as opposed to making it leave the tail. So it's there for insulation and to channel the nerve impulse downwards. And then what you probably can't see in this picture would be your axon terminals. And the axon terminals would be somewhere down here. And these axon terminals is where your neurotransmitters are coming out. And we're going to talk about those in a second, or in the next video actually. Uh, so the axon terminals is where you have your, tr your um, neurotransmitters. These are chemicals that will jump to the next neurons, dendrites. Right? So dendrites and two neurons are connected by having dendrites being connected to another neuron's axon terminals, but we'll cover that soon. And remember also that the axon itself obviously also has some myelin sheet, and these would be what actually gives it the insulation. So the axon is that long fiber, but on the axon we've got these myelin sheets, which you can't see in this picture. They make sure the insulation is actually there. And that's basically, I mean, these are more or less the most fundamental important structures. There's also the Nord of Ravier, which we'll talk about in the next video. But these are the most important structural features of a neuron. The dendrites, the head, the axon, the axon terminal, myelin sheet. Those are the kind of five key ones. And there's a couple other ones as well. Schwann cells, Nord of Ravier. But um, we might go over those a tiny bit in the next couple of videos but they're not that important, at least not for, for this course. But I hope that was useful.